<laughs> I low key had a scare yesterday. All right, Alexa, Alexa, cut it out. Yeah, I know you see me all in your notifications. Y'all, it is snowing. This is the first bit of snow we have <laughs> in the new year. Yes, thank you. See the snow? I actually think this might be. I don't think it's the first time it's snowed since, you know, Kai has been here, but for her to be old enough to be looking out the window like this, I think this is her first real snow day. So you guys, happy new year. Welcome back to my channel. We are starting the vlog off right, kind of, sort of, because I actually planned on being very productive today, but this snow, I don't know. Is it just me? Weather definitely impacts my productivity and it shouldn't like rainy days snowy days i feel like that's a day to just sit home and do absolutely nothing like hey y'all so present day me here editing and i just want to apologize about the audio that buzzing sound in the background i had a separate mic hooked up in the first few clips you guys will hear um i did wind up taking it out more towards the end of the vlog so it will go away and i will not be using that mic anymore because it was getting on my nerves while I was editing, so I can only imagine what it's gonna do to you guys. But stay tuned, it gets better. Then to make matters worse, y'all, it's a Monday, okay? Mondays is just already like, dang, the beginning of the week. We got a long, we got a long way to Friday, and now it's snowing on top of that. Say good morning, Stink. Say good morning. <laughs> okay, so I have on my bonnet, and y'all wanna see what's under it? I have a plastic target bag on my hair so i did this overnight conditioning treatment so my hair is wet right now i slept with wet hair but it didn't see through at all i ran out of plastic caps because y'all probably like well, why you have a target bag on your head i ran out of plastic <laughs> kaya excuse me ma'am i ran out of plastic uh hair caps so i had to use the plastic bag and then i just used a ponytail holder to tighten it girl kaya clearly really misses y'all I haven't vlogged in a long time, so, um, but what was I saying? Yeah, so, I'm not sure if I did the overnight treatment correctly, though. I don't think my hair was supposed to be wet. Oh, my mic is being paced in the other direction. I hope y'all was able to hear me. Um, yeah, I don't think I was supposed to do it on wet hair, because I was rereading the direction, because I was thinking, I'm like, yo, I'm really supposed to go to sleep with wet hair? Like, how do they expect, um, people to do that? But... From reading the directions, it kind of sounds like I was supposed to do this before I washed my hair, almost like a pre poo kind of, sort of, and I did it the, the wrong way. Like, I already washed my hair last night, and then I put this in and went to sleep, so I literally just have to wash it out. I'm about to show you guys the um, condition I use. So, this is the Mayel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner, and then the directions say, y'all, it says, apply to hair working from ends to root, allow conditioner to stay in your hair overnight apply shower cap for added product uh, protection rinse conditioner in the morning prior to shampooing so now when it said add a shower cap for added protection i just insinuated that i was supposed to use this like a deep conditioner but clearly that's not the case so i'm about to rinse it out of my hair and i hope like i don't have moisture overload or anything I don't know, but I will come back when I get out the shower. Y'all, so I just had the brightest idea. So I'm out the shower, finished rinsing out my hair. I didn't rewash it. I literally just um, washed and conditioner out. Um, even though you're supposed to, per the bottle, you're supposed to wash it out, I assume, because you're supposed to apply it before you shampoo. But since I already washed my hair last night, I wasn't about to rewash it again. I just rinsed out the conditioner. But y'all know how I'm always complaining about how in my bathroom, I never have a proper place to sit you guys up. Like, I'm directly in front of the lighting right now, but like, there's literally nowhere to sit my camera to be directly in front of the light. Um, so sometimes I put you guys over here, but that kind of messes with the lighting. Sometimes I put y'all right here, but also messes with the lighting. So I just had an idea. Your girl got a whole car mount and this piece normally goes on the window shield the dashboard the windowsill um and i just screw my camera on and it'll stay so i'm about to try to attach it onto my mirror and put the camera up and y'all if this works y'all might get some more hair content for 2022 because that is honestly my main dilemma i never have anywhere to put my camera and y'all hold up it worked so this is movable but 
I don't know why it's being real stiff right now but whatever I just uh screw my camera on right here I'm about to get this all set up and then I'm gonna come back to talk to you guys about my hair y'all it worked I can't believe I had this car mount for years and never thought to actually do this anyways I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down my her see what she's giving so i'm about to do a quick little wash and go if you will um but i do plan on wearing my hair up so i also have the leave-in conditioner from that same line the hawaiian ginger moisturizing leave-in so i'm gonna use this leave-in then i'm gonna use i have a mouth oh here it is a maui moisture curl cream curl smoothie that honestly it's halfway gone but i can't tell you guys besides when i first first uh when my hair first started growing back that's the only time i can recall actually using this um but i don't feel like i use it enough for it to literally be halfway gone so i'm gonna use this i also want to use the green eco styling gel which i think is in the living room so i'm gonna go get that really quickly not to say that i'm shocked that this works because obviously it will if it works in my car it'll work on a mirror but i'm just mad it really took me this long to realize i can do this y'all like i have a big tripod and normally sometimes if I, ooh, if I really feel like it that was my brush i'll set the tripod up in the sink but i gotta get the angles and i never had to do all of that i could have just did this like anyways got the um eco styler so these are the three products that i'm using the leave-in the curl smoothie and the gel let's see what my hair is giving she's not that wet anymore i probably should have grabbed my spray bottle too so i can wet it a little more all right i went and grabbed my spray bottle too now i officially have everything that i need in here and i shouldn't have to i need some hair clips do i have at least one in here all right i don't have any hair clips but i'm not leaving this bathroom again so i'm just gonna use a hair tie um i think i'm gonna work because i normally work across i'm trying to think if i want to work so i'm gonna work across so like i said i'm doing a wash and go but i'm not actually going to wear it out like i do plan on putting my hair up but this is just how i prep my hair for that i also didn't mention this is my first time washing my hair since i straightened it if you guys follow me on instagram because even though i haven't been posting on um youtube instagram knows you're just a uh, you girl your girl just got a silk press and then my mom trimmed my ends for me so this is my first time washing my hair since then so it is a little shorter it is a little shorter but i was more so interested in seeing how my curls reverted back and right now it ain't given but it's also no product in my hair so how I was saying earlier that I originally planned to, you know, go out for the day, but the rain. So I just had to go to my car to get this um, car mount, y'all. And it's really nasty out there. Like the way it was looking through the window is nothing compared to how it is in real life. So I really just might stay home today. I don't know. I want to go out. But if I don't, I'm still going to be product productive. I have a video I want to film. So I'm going to go ahead and film that. Uh even if i don't go out i low-key had a scare yesterday oh because i was y'all i thought my curls wasn't gonna come back and granted you know this will be the ultimate test to see if it does they don't look as tight as they were i don't know if it's because the length of my hair or if it's heat damage which i don't want to say it is because this is literally the third time that i straighten my hair since going natural and the entire two weeks that it was straight i didn't re-go over it with a curling iron at all i mean a flat iron at all so like it shouldn't be but my curls is acting real funky i'll say that acting real funky all right i'm just gonna go ahead and do this off camera and i will come back when my hair is well when i'm done so y'all this is how my hair turned out i did diffuse it a little bit it's still a little wet though so i'm just gonna leave it alone um it is one o'clock now this morning and last night it said the snow was supposed to stop at two o'clock now the time that got pushed back till five o'clock okay um it's a hundred percent chance at two 70 at three 60 at four 40 at five so it'll probably stop around like 4 35 
as of right now we do still want to leave the house but even if we don't like i said i still do want to be productive today and um film a video and because it's snow outside you know i think i kind of want to take a picture too so i'm gonna do my makeup at like 3 3 30 i'm gonna do my hair first and then do my makeup so i could like do my baby hairs and everything y'all let me know do you guys do your baby hairs before or after you do your makeup like i personally would prefer to do them after because i feel like it's it's a lose-lose situation because like if you do them before depending if you can maneuver around them you're gonna get makeup in your edges but then if you do them after um the gel well for me anyways the gel mixes with my makeup so then i wind up still getting it in my edges regardless but i'm gonna do it before and try to maneuver around it as i'm doing my makeup but just wanted to come on here and show y'all <laughs> the curls because they came back hey to said it wouldn't jayla mitchell's voice yes they hey to said it wouldn't Ain't nobody say that so y'all face is beat this is how my makeup came out she's so cute okay lashes from the one and only shop catrice these are in the style kaya everything will be restocking january 11th i also have some lip glosses y'all i just lined my lips i'm gonna put on a clear gloss so it's nothing to really show you guys but when i get back from taking my pictures i am going to do some swatches for you guys so you guys can actually see the different colors we got but this is my hair this is the edges i did do my baby hairs before i did my makeup y'all i just you know worked around it to not get makeup in it um i might redo this little curl piece because it didn't really <laughs> curl like it should have but yeah um it's actually only 2 30 now i didn't wait for my hair to completely dry i just went ahead and did it because i'm forgetting that like we're in winter so the sun's actually gonna start setting at around four or five and i want the best possible lighting i can get so i'm about to head i'm about to get dressed obviously first and then i'm gonna go downstairs to take some pictures really quickly i didn't even like check on the snow let's see if okay so it's not snowing anymore so it's looking like we will be heading out for the day so that's exciting and if anything the video that i said i was going to record i can always record it at night time i feel yeah so y'all excuse the mirror but i am dressed this is the little outfit i'm debating whether or not we gonna rock the bag and the shades and a couple of the pictures we'll see and then you girl got the catrice chain on okay okay um i wish i had two big tripods so i can set you guys up to see me take the pictures um i have this little one that i'm holding i can try to sit it on the ground to get some angles the light is literally right above me so it's not doing no justice but outside where we go y'all let me first start by saying it's freezing out here like this is not the little cute snow to be trying to pick two pictures and like my background looks so cute i look so cute so i'm gonna give me some pictures but let me just let y'all know your girl is cold it's mainly just my chest area if i do wear this outfit out i'm definitely gonna put a scarf on and maybe even a sweater but i got my little live view shoot um up. here is my little camera setup so i use my phone um to actually press the button it's on video mode right now so let me change it to pictures I'm just gonna sit you guys down for a like I said, I'm freezing, so I'm trying to be out of it. back upstairs and not by choice okay it's not like i got the shot that i wanted shots that i wanted i was like yes this is it i'm done y'all i'm back in the house because it is freezing outside like i couldn't feel my hands by the time i got back upstairs still got my coat on because i'm still trying to warm up a little bit um so we are going out we, we were going out to eat y'all it was nothing special i did want to go to the mall too but it's cold we'll see but i came to the conclusion that i will not be wearing this outfit outside today 
it, it was cute for the pictures to put, like some of the pictures that I got are really cute but I'm gonna put on a sweatsuit and you know this actually gives me opportunity to take more pictures in a different outfit um, because I don't know if I even told you guys this so originally I was supposed to have a shoot with Brennan today if you know you know Brennan's a guy who last year he was taking off of the professional looking pictures that I had before I got my own um, professional camera but I realized when I was taking pictures with him, I was literally just, we was taking a bunch of pictures in one day. I had like five, six different outfits and I never actually went anywhere. So for 2022, for the new year, um, as a part of trying to get out the house more, if I'm taking a picture for Instagram, I need to actually be going somewhere in the outfit being seen because in a sense i don't want to say the outfit's going to waste because i don't care if the gram scene if i want to rewear an outfit i will rewear it but it it just was pointless so um i decided that i'm gonna take my own pictures this year when i go out so every time i get dressed and i look cute i'm gonna force myself to go out even if i'm not really doing anything but yeah say all that to say i'm definitely changing my outfit i'm putting on a sweatsuit get a cute little comfy chill outfit for tonight it is no joke out there mind you i didn't even check the weather alexa what's the weather outside the current weather is 30 degrees fahrenheit yo it's 30 skies. degrees outside tonight, i was out there taking pictures <laughs> all right alexa alexa cut it out you ask her a simple question and she just just be going like all you had to say was 30 degrees sis i wasn't even listening to what she was saying after that but she just kept talking but yeah i'm hoping praying i do not get sick i was out there for maybe like a good 15 15 minutes y'all so but yeah um babe is getting ready now it's about to be four o'clock we're gonna head out we're going to hibachi so that's always good i'm about to get kaya together now i actually just woke her up by accident coming in the house i was trying to be so quiet but then cash started barking and then woke her up so all right y'all outfit change i went ahead and put on this forever and juicy couture sweatsuit if chia girls had a fifth member it would be me and kai would be my little baby cub you see you see the cheetah print y'all see it right sting so y'all see it but this is our outfit you see my girl got on the butters today too is you even really from new york are you from New York State? Say so you from New York at heart. Because my mommy from New York, so I'm from New York. All right, so yeah, we are about to head to get something to eat, y'all. We are at Hibachi. And surprisingly, there is no wait because, y'all, it's normally hella busy, especially on Mondays. Um, But I guess because of the snow, a lot of people ain't come out. Plus, they kind of just open. We are early. We normally come at around like 7, 8. It's only 5 o'clock, a little after 5. So people are probably just getting off of work. But it'll probably be getting busy. Um, as we're leaving. it is the next day y'all i'm about to be such a great friend and i'm going to 
uh, meet Chelsea. Her car is getting uh, its windows tinted, so I'm gonna go get her till it's done. Cause y'all, <laughs> this is the middle of nowhere. I had the same issue. Like every time we get our car service, it's either you wait there for the entire time that it's being serviced, which can be hours, or you take an Uber there and back. It's just a lot. It's not like New York where you can walk around, find something else to do in the meantime, you know? No. So I'm gonna go get her. And y'all, we having a dilemma because I wanna eat when she texted me and asked me to do it. I literally just woke up. So me personally, my first meal of the day has to be breakfast. I don't care what time I wake up. I don't care if it's three o'clock in the afternoon. I want a pancake. <laughs> so she doesn't like breakfast food, so we can't agree on that. IHOP was right down the street from the place, but she doesn't want IHOP. So then I found another place, and she does. She doesn't want uh, breakfast at all. She like she want crab legs. I'm like crab legs off the wake up is crazy. I don't want crab legs, so we can't agree on that. So I'm just gonna go to Krispy Kreme um, when we're done. It's right down the street from the place again, and give me some donuts. And I'm tight because today's the third, I think. It's the fourth. But they just had a deal from the first to the third or the second to the third, one of those, um, where you get like two dozens for two dollars. It was something like that. It was some crazy deal. But it's whatever. I'm gonna get like half a dozen and a latte. Cause it is cold. Right now I'm waiting for my car to heat up. It's originally uh, uh, what? It's officially oh shit season. When you get in your car you're like, oh shit. Yeah, it's that season. Like it's cold. Um but yeah, I guess I'll just talk to you guys when I get with Chelsea. Hey, mama. Say, what baby y'all know cruising style? My stink got the little snack tray. She ate all her food, though, but we got Chipotle. Hey, blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm saying to you. I'm just blah, blah. I'm just, talk I'm just talking. Okay. <laughs> but y'all. What, ma? So, y'all, we are in the mall. We're actually in the eyebrow um, threading place. Y'all know how much we come to this mall. And this is about to be my first time coming to this eyebrow place. I haven't gotten my brows professionally done since I was in school. Because I used to go to the mall at school. So, since I graduated, I've been doing my own brows. So, kind of nervous y'all know how it is coming to a new, new eyebrow lady but chelsea here <laughs> chelsea's gonna go first <laughs> second second <laughs> y'all threading hurts so bad really, then I don't like that. you never I had your eyebrows done no, I, don't I don't i don't i feel like it's an equal pain but threading since it's one by one you kind of feel it more waxing is all at once y'all this is this about to hurt but I, I miss the arch my brows used to have i tried to do it myself um with the makeup yesterday but you could tell that like my brows wasn't supposed to be arched they're like just straight now they're thick as uh my the hairs are mad long they need to be cut, cut. i got hiccups So I'm gonna just come back to y'all with the finished results of my brows. Hopefully I like them because I kind of miss getting my brows done. I'm tired of with the razor. I can't ever get them as, you know, nice as I want them to. So y'all, Chelsea winded up in the chair first, but that's because I done got conned by a table that was out there, y'all. I got two games for $12. I got Monopoly and then I got Mancala, but it's not the one we grew up on. It's really old. It's with the rocks instead of like the marbles. But the girl that's the cashier over there, she was saying that her mom said that she grew up on this man So maybe this is the original man But me and her both grew up with the marbles. And then um, some lady that paid before me, she got the original Monopoly, the last one they had. So uh, the girl told me this is the second edition one. And the box was damaged, so she actually gave it to me for $5. You <laughs> can't beat that. Everything was already 50% off. But since this box was damaged, she gave it to me for 5 instead. So... Look, if you can't beat that two games for $12, I'm not complaining. So y'all, we're done. I told her to keep the thickness and just arch it. She kind of thick. Yeah, she definitely, like this one, the front is, y'all see that little dip right here? This one's not bad. I will not be going back. <laughs> Lucky I fill in my eyebrows anyways, but it's, it's, it's all right, sis. Next stop, we're going to Bath and Body Works. Oh, they got the 50% off again. Of Good, because, the, oh, the candles is on. The, I'm going in through the candle side. <laughs> yes, candles 50% off. Yeah, because I, I left the one that I needed to bring back. I needed to bring back a candle because the one I got for their little $10 sale, I don't like the way it smells. Sugared lemon zest. I 
I want it. It smells like limoncello. I feel like they just be recycling um, smells and naming them something different because that one smells just like limoncello. Mm, this one smells good too. This smells like your mama house. The, the three that I'm getting is all right next to each other, y'all. Sugar lemon zest, eucalyptus smith, and this midnight blue citrus. Uh, blue citrus. Black cherry mellow. Black cherry mellow. Probably nasty. It's not nasty. I feel like it would be better in a soap. My eyebrows freaking burn, y'all. Yeah, like this, this looks bad. <laughs> this looks bad. Why did I do this, y'all? This is why you don't do things off of uh, being spontaneous. Do they have a bag? <gasps> Hi, honey! So y'all, we're in um, Barnes & Noble now and they have the Monopoly I just got and I want to see how much it really was. So it was originally $20, but I got it for five just cause the box was messed up. So I thought I can do that. Say, hey, look at you so nosy. Breaking your neck, girl. Breaking your neck, girl and all these other games. Life used to be my game, y'all. So this must be the original, original Mancala. I ain't never seen the Mancala look like this. This look like some ancient game. The Heirloom Edition. Heirloom. Shut up. <laughs> this one's $18. I got ours for six something. All right, all right Kaya. This is a library. You're supposed to be quiet. No, 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 no. Hey. I just changed her y'all. She wouldn't let me put her pants on. So yeah, there she goes. Pantless baby. <laughs> but y'all, look at Kai's Christmas gift from her Tima. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then y'all already saw that your girl can fit on this. Your girl can drive the boat. Right, Stank? I'm about to record and drive. You don't do this though, okay? <laughs> I'm crying. Ow! All right. Excuse me, stink. So I'm on, I'm on the thing. Kaya trying to get on it with me. Come on. Ugh. You ready? You ready, stink? Never record while driving. <gasps> This is your stop. Time to go. <laughs> Trying to get Kaya to drive it herself, but she 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 not really cooperating. She want to stand like it's a motorcycle and do tricks. Go ahead, get on this thing. There you go. Put this foot on the blue thing. Now press the button. Look, she's standing up, y'all. Who does she think she is? Press the button, baby. You gotta press that. Go ahead. Press the button, baby. Oh, yeah. She's not interested in pressing the button. Oh, oh look, yeah. <coughs> yeah, yay! Push. She said, I got it. Well, when he gets sick, y'all be sick together for real. <laughs> I said, don't you blame him, because y'all never be sick together. Y'all just be asking y'all on dirt. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. so, you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Right you like it? I don't work. You don't have to stay home, guess what? Yeah, stand, stand up. Bike life. Bike life. Hey! There you go! She just stood up a little bit there. Got it! Yeah. Yeah, bike life. That one. Bike life. Bike life. Something sunset house. That one. Press the button. Press the button, Stan. Push button. Oh, she said, I don't want to ride no more. <laughs> Good afternoon, y'all. It is the next day. Babe is making breakfast. I guess what time it is? It's 1.20. So just like I was telling y'all yesterday, I don't care what time of the day it is. First meal of the day got to be breakfast. Um, So we're actually going food shopping today. Kaya is down for her nap. 
um so i'm actually about to put a list together there's a little whiteboard that we keep in the kitchen because y'all know when y'all in the kitchen and you think of something that you're gonna need when you go grocery shopping but that may not be weeks from that moment so i got a little whiteboard so i won't forget in moments like those so it's a couple of things already on here but not um a lot so i'm actually gonna go through the cabinets and everything and see what we need <laughs> that noise is cash playing with his toy what are you doing dog <laughs> um so i'm gonna open up the notes app and I don't know if you guys knew this, but in the notes, you can actually do checklists. So that's how I like to do the list for the grocery store so that when we get there, um, I can actually check things off that we get. So what I already have on the list, some of the stuff I actually did get because it was times that I was around a grocery store. I really needed it before we got a chance to go to the um, grocery store. So I already bought it. So like the first thing on the list is seasoning, salt, and sasson. I already got both of those, so I don't need to write them down. Then we got hot sauce, uh, onions. I think I bought a bag of onions too. Yeah, we have onions already. Potatoes, batteries, Babe already went and got those. Sweet potatoes, we just went and got them yesterday. Um, water for Kaya, we got that as well. But I mean, we can get another one. If you guys were curious, the water that she drinks, she still drinks the baby water. Um, it's distilled water, this is parents' choice. But she has her jug of water and then we have like water bottles. I need more caramel creamer for my coffee. Some strawberries. Apples. Need some more garlic salt. That's running low. We need paper cups. Yes, we drink out of paper here because we're doing all them dishes, boo. Paper cups, paper plates. We just use regular utensils and stuff though. Um we need canned goods. I'm not even gonna lie, I basically went through uh, the cabinets before I even came on the vlogs, but that's what I do. I'll go through everything and see what we need more of. But majority of the stuff that we pick up in the grocery store is kind of a, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for, but it's like one of those things we see it and it's like, oh, we want it. It's not necessarily that like we needed it kind of thing. I do need to get Kaya a lot more um, quick things to eat in the morning and stuff, y'all. Who knew feeding a baby was low key this hard? Especially because Kaya, she doesn't like protein things. Like, she don't like eggs at all. Mind you, one of the first uh, foods that I gave her to eat on her own that wasn't pureed was eggs. And I'll actually answer the video because I posted it on Instagram. So the funny part is, the piece that I posted on Instagram was her taking her first bite. So like she tasted it. But then after the video, well I kept recording but I don't think I actually posted that part. But after she put it in her mouth, she literally threw it because she didn't like it. And ever since that day, she will not eat eggs. She don't care how they're made. So that day was scrambled. I tried scrambled eggs. I tried boiling the eggs. I tried frying the egg. Mind you, for Christmas when my mom was here, she made herself a fried egg white. And Kaya ate it. But Kaya, she is so greedy, y'all. So because it was my mom's and she was eating it, she was eating it. So, all right, cool. After my mom left, I made her. Uh, granted, I didn't do a fried egg white. But the way it was fried, the yolk and the egg white was separate. So I tried giving her the egg white and she wouldn't eat it. So I'm like, do you just not like my eggs, sis? Like, what's the issue? So she don't eat eggs. Um, I try to make her a breakfast meat every morning, sausage, bacon, something. She doesn't eat none of that. Bacon, she'll, like, I don't like my bacon crispy, crunchy, none of that. But at the same time, it's not rubbery either. It's the perfect, you know, good enough for her to, um to eat but she won't eat it neither like she'll play with it in her mouth and then take it out sausages i tried to feed her salami yesterday well the other day the breakfast salami the spanish kind of salami the thick pieces that you fry and she started crying like i was trying to give it to her and she was really crying because she didn't want it i'm like okay i'm not gonna force you to eat it so yeah she is very hard to um eat for the most part she eats a bunch of fruit in the morning and then like pancakes or waffles french toast whatever it is we make her um oatmeal sometimes too but she's also a very messy eater so i honestly try to steer away from the oatmeal unless i'm feeding it to her but even still like yo i forgot i think i gave her applesauce the other day and i was feeding it to her because i was eating it, it was my applesauce but i was sharing it with her and some way, somehow, she still mind, managed to make a mess. I'm like, how you made a mess and I'm feeding you? I don't get it, but I'm about to actually look up breakfast ideas for babies. And see if we could find some stuff. I'll also be giving her granola bars and things like that. 
So let me actually put that on the list because we need more of that too. Y'all, my hair honestly been up like this literally since the first day that I did it. Like I haven't taken it down to redo it. I haven't done my edges. This is just my hair. We're on day three. I didn't do my edges or none of that, but I may or may not either slick it back a little bit or put on a headband. I don't know because it's getting a little, it's getting a little crazy now. She also doesn't like bananas. So, but it's just the egg thing for me because eggs, eggs is a source of protein and they're so quick to make. They're super cheap and she doesn't like it. I'm like, leave it to my bougie baby. Like, leave it to her. Oh, she does like rice cakes. I've given her rice cakes before, so I can get that. Oh, I got that idea from whatever website I'm on. Um, focus. One of these, I think, is it this plate? No, this plate has rice cakes, so that just made me say that. All right, I'm gonna continue going through these websites and making my list. So next time I see you guys, we will be at the supermarket, food shops, whatever y'all call it, grocery store, supermarket. What do y'all call it? Grocery store, supermarket, or do you just call it the name of the place y'all shop? We honestly call it Walmart, but supermarket, grocery store came out when I was trying to speak. So I will see you guys at Walmart. clip is not all that we have y'all um my battery died while we was at walmart mind you before we left i knew my battery was dead so in my head i grabbed my spare batteries but at the time while we was in walmart after my camera died i didn't think i grabbed them so i started recording with my phone but i honestly probably won't insert that footage because that, that's just how i am you know i don't like just know um then i get home and i check my bag and the spare batteries were in the bag so i could have still been recording all this time but i'm sorry Want to say hey, Stink? Say hey, y'all. Say hey. So I'm eating french fries. But yeah, y'all, we are about to put away all this stuff that we got. We got a lot, but not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some new things too. Yeah, girl, tell them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah girl. <laughs> so, quick little haul as we're putting stuff away. So this is how we split it up, right? So we bring all the bags in the house. My job, I just you know, put everything on the counter, take them out of the bags, and then Babe, for the most part, he puts it away, and as he's putting stuff away, he like organizes the pantry and stuff. So that's that, let's get started. So, ooh, I done broke the, my job, for the most part, we got a bunch of reusable bags, but like we have three Walmart bags, and y'all see what just happened. Get y'all some reusable bags. But what was in that bag, Starters, we got this 20 pouch thing for Kaya. It's applesauce in here, apple peach sauce, and then give me five, which it says it's a blend of apple, mango, strawberry, peach, and banana. She loves these little pouch things. This was $10, and then they had a 16 pack for $10 too. So obviously, I'm gonna get the 20 pack if it's the same price. So I'm not really gonna show y'all everything because I'll probably just do an overall, but an overview. I got two boxes of cereal for me. I got some Frosted Flakes and some Honey Bunches of Oats. I was actually just on the phone with my mom and she said she spent $9 on a box of Frosted Flakes in New York today. She got it from CVS, so I'm sure it wasn't family size. $9 on a small box of Frosted Flakes is crazy. No. Um, we got, this is cold stuff. It's an insulated bag, so I wanna hit it. It zipped it up a little bit, a little bit. Oh, I'm making burgers tonight too. So some cheese, cottage cheese sticks. This is the one she eat. It's a variety pack. It's open because I had to give her one while we were in Walmart. Um, it's string cheese that I be eating, honestly. Yeah. Swirls and Kobe chat. Why well, don't say the exact kind of cheese? My baby don't, don't discriminate though. Just like her mama, we love cheese. Yeah. Got tomatoes and cheese for our burgers. I got these little hash brown things they had. Simply potato shredded hash browns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got some string beans. Got some strawberries for Kaya. 
Ooh, so I ran across these in Walmart. I ain't seen the red lobster biscuits in so, so long, but I love these. I learned the trick though. You're actually supposed to put more water in it than they asked for, cause the first couple of times I made it, they were real doughy. I don't like my biscuits doughy. Like red lobster biscuits aren't doughy. They're fluffy, not doughy. So I put more than one fourth a cup of water. I got me two boxes of this, cause I, biscuits and, and burgers don't go. I'll probably make one for breakfast tomorrow. Um. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. These are the little Nutri-Grain bars that Kai be eating. Originally, I was buying her the adult size ones, but then I ran across these, they're the little bite size ones, and I'm like, that's perfect for her. So ever since we started getting these, I only really see them in strawberry. I'm trying to see if there's any other little things I wanna show y'all really quickly, cause I ain't gonna do a whole big old grocery haul. Oh, I came across these biscuit roll-up sausage, egg, and cheese. Never had them before, but I wanted to give them a try, cause Y'all, I'm a, so like I've been telling y'all this whole vlog, I'm a breakfast person, like I said, like my first meal has to be breakfast, but the process of actually making breakfast is very tedious. Um, oh, they had these two, y'all, um, Pillsbury, they make cornbread rolls now. How they be having the biscuits and the cinnamon rolls, they got it in cornbread form now, so we wanted to try that. That's just about everything that I'm going to show you. I'm going to put everything on the tables and stuff. Do a quick little overview. Babe's going to put everything away and then we'll be back. It's me just realizing that I never actually came on here to wrap up the vlog. This is actually two days later from the last um, clip. I'm actually about to do my makeup because we're going out and I'm going to start another vlog. So... Here is me closing out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know sometime, I think at the very beginning of this vlog, I did say that I was going to do the swatches for my lip gloss for you guys, and I never got around to doing that. I do have a couple of them. Like, it's just one missing from up here. So I can show you guys what they look like, but they're kind of wrong. The ones I'm going to show you is wrong. Um, I had to place two orders with my vendor because the first one, the logo was wrong. It, it, it's not that it was wrong it was misplaced and miscolored and it didn't look it wasn't up to par um but the new ones are different but um i'm gonna do the swatches of the lip glosses on my instagram so if you got to the end of this vlog make sure you are following me on instagram to see how the colors actually look i am going to be also taking a picture um today after i do my makeup and everything with the glosses so i'm excited about that we excited right stink let me show you how the glosses so these are the glosses i only have four colors in my hand and y'all <laughs> why they don't got names yet i honestly might just keep the names because y'all know i I used to sell um glosses maybe like two years ago about to be two years ago while i was pregnant um but i was making the glosses like hand making them and literally my last batch of lip glosses that i made was when we moved here in august of 2020 so a month before kaya was born and after that it was over like i was not it, it's a, it's tedious making your own lip glosses okay i was making the lip glosses i was putting the lip glosses into the tubes i was putting the labels on the tubes it was just a lot but i found a vendor with the perfect consistency formula color payoff everything like i can't wait for you guys to try these lip glosses um i have worn the pink one i wear the clear one often and the other one that i've been wearing that i really like um isn't I don't have it on me, on me right now. But what I will say about these two, so the name that I might keep for this one, my old gloss, the brown one, was named Henny. And I think I'm going to keep yeah, the same yeah, one yeah, after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, <laughs> what else, think? On my specific complexion, it isn't all that flattering because it's like my complexion. Um, and then this one is really light but i feel like with these two if you use it as a lip combo it would be better not necessarily these two together but like if you use um this really light one with like a different dark, or you can use them together honestly with a really dark um lip liner excuse me ma'am thank you um i feel like it would be better that, better that way but by itself on me i'm honestly not really a fan so i might have to you know call one of my light skin friends over or something to use them to you know take swatch pictures for you guys i'll swatch it on my hand or whatever but again this will all be on instagram and i'll probably do it in the next vlog too at the beginning of the next vlog um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel turn on your post bell notifications because we are going up all year y'all for sure 
I have a video plan every Sunday at 6 p.m. for the month of January because I'm actually outside. We doing stuff this month, all right, y'all? But um, the goal is to push for the entire year. But y'all know I talk a lot and I don't be following through. So I'm not going to say too much. I ain't going to say too much. Just make sure you are subscribed with your post bell notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all. Don't forget it, yeah. And for a Friday, I'll put the time in for you.